Mr. Jennings, you ready for these ones? Oh, yes. First one, good one. Whew. It's going to be a debate, I think, between me and you, this. Rodri is Man City's best and most important player. Look, if you thought he wasn't, you're now wrong, aren't you? You've no, seen well, it. No, obviously no. No, it's impossible to argue that he isn't. He's been banned it's for three games. though, isn't it? He's missed three games. No, no, with De Bruyne, they win games. Without De Bruyne, they win games. De Bruyne is a very good player, brilliant at what he does, but he is, you can survive post De Bruyne. Rodri, there is a case study here that teaches you that it's Rodri. Rodri has missed three games. Mm. So, so hang on, we'll start at the beginning. Rodri played in Man City's first six games of the season. Yeah. They won six in a row. Yeah. He gets banned. Yeah. He misses three games. Yeah. They've lost three games. You can't argue that. This I can. No, I can. I can. I can. Ha- I can. Okay, I can. I can. I can. I can. try, but you're going Kevin to lose. Kevin De Bruyne is clearly their best player because without Kevin De Bruyne, I think we've noticed the so-called best player in the world doesn't work. Does he? Doesn't operate. Like literally, if Kevin De Bruyne isn't there, then it could be Haaland up front or it could be Andy Carroll. No, but De Bruyne has missed a fair bit. De Bruyne has missed a fair fair bit this season. Yeah. And Haaland scored eight and eight. No, 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 no. You're talking about a champion. In the league, has he got eight and eight, eight in the league? league? Oh, you've won that argument then, haven't you? Convincingly. Damn. One nil Jennings. Yeah. It's close, it's close. It's to a Jesus, TKO. Oh, this is a good one. Phil Foden. Oh, this is a great one. Phil Foden is wasting his career at Man City. I don't know how I feel about this one because with Foden, you, you're obviously not wasting your career because you're you're winning everything there is to win. Doesn't matter. You're, you're still Doesn't playing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What I would say is I don't know if for the furtherance of Phil Foden's career as an individual, mm. not as a team player, not as not as a professional who's earning, yeah. not as a professional who's going to look back on his medals, but for him to be the very best footballer that he can it's be, go. it's got to go. Look at Madison at Spurs now. Yeah, I know. Think of what Phil Foden could do. Imagine Phil Foden was the Madison. Literally, it'd be it'd be applauded for it because he is literally a Spurs kind of player. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do like, know what you mean. He's, you know a, he's, I mean? A, he's a maverick, he's a maverick. dazzling. F- oh my yeah. god! Like Phil Foden three years ago, like the fact that Saka's eclipsed him and gone. But do you not think that's applicable to? to is that ago. not applicable to say Jack Grealish as well? Yeah, but then uh, Jack Grealish's mavericks kind of vanished a little bit. But he's not ro- the individual. Are you play- better off? being a system player and being part of Guardiola's juggernaut machine or are you better off being a bit of a a, a bit of a whiz kid who's got loads of plaudits but ultimately wins nothing at Tottenham funny thing is there with Phil Foden what is he 23 I think Phil yeah, Foden 23 about a long time you know? he's won nine trophies go this is not the Harry Kane conversation is it he's won the treble he's won league titles he's won, F- he's won everything maybe it's a case of done it now I've got my trophy hall now let me become the maverick player I want to be and just go and have fun playing football because honestly I'm watching him and I just don't so see you, the full Would it not demonstrate a, a lack of ambition to leave City? You know what? You, effectively, what you're saying here is that he should he should walk from the best manager currently in the world, yeah, maybe, maybe, argu- maybe arguably ever, ever yeah. uh, certainly the best run football club. Like mm-hmm. Manchester City as an as an entity are incomparable to almost anything. They're yeah. perfect, aren't they? They churn it along. They win consistently. To walk away from that would demonstrate a lack of ambition. Wouldn't He's it? gone backwards. He hasn't, he has though. Gone back. No, no, you, no, he you can't has, win he has. a treble you know, Even backwards. with De Bruyne out now, I thought, okay, this is it then, this is it. Gundogan gone, De Bruyne are out, Mahrez gone, Sterling gone. All right, you do but it. But you still probably believe that Man City win the league this year, don't you? Yeah. So he wins another league. So yeah, when you say he's gone backwards, he's no, going no, yeah, to be no, a champion no, again. You're right. The trophy cabinet's going to be stacked, but just him individually. I just don't think he's... I think it would be lunacy to leave... Manchester City in order to be the star of Tottenham Hotspur like, no, no, just, no, 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 oh, just, no okay yeah. but anyway like, okay. realistically realistically Chelsea could do with Foden you wouldn't you wouldn't, you can't leave City can you unless you're asked to leave mm, so it's, it's what do you think do you debate. genuinely think that he'd be better off elsewhere and if so where Spurs that's wild yeah. that's, that's, that, there's your no, no, reaction no no no, 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 no but you've won everything you've won everything already this isn't a case of filling the trophy you've won it all Go out somewhere where you're going to play and, and re- return to that Phil Foden that we thought was going to come through three years ago. I don't know. Uh, they, oh, I thought that was no reaction. Why I just said this one clearly is. You, Mr. Jennings, were right about Erling Haaland. Mate, there's something in it. There what? is something in it. What is it? Look, Erling Haaland has scored bundles of goals. There's no two ways about it, right? He scored bundles of goals for Manchester City. Broke all those records, but... They were already winning those trophies. They were already beating Stop. the team. Hang on, the teams Stop. that he the teams that he was did he score fifty plus goals? What right against who? Don't matter. Everyone. Why doesn't it matter? Because he scored fifty plus goals. This no. isn't this isn't Berbatov got a hat trick against. No, Liverpool. no, this... no. When you sign, look, anybody would score goals for that Man City no, team. No, We've no, established no, that no. anybody would score goals. No. Anybody scores goals up front. So when they bought Haaland, they bought him to score goals in those massive yeah, he, moments. He, he scored beyond 
the number that we all expected. Yeah, agreed. You said 15. Uh, okay. He turned that number around, actually. It's all very well being a flat track bully and battering the smaller teams. But even this year is a, is a good example of this. So he scored 8-8. Eight 8-8 and eight. Eight and eight is the easiest thing to say, right? He scored 8-8 eight eight this year, doing his job perfectly. Okay, let's explore it. Did he score against Arsenal where they really needed him to? No. No, he didn't. He scored three against Fulham. Mm-hmm. He scored one against Sheffield United. He scored one against West Ham. He scored one against Forest. He scored one against Burnley. Oh, Who easy doesn't? Because it's easy to score in the Premier League. It's easy to score, no, isn't it? What, what striker playing for Man City with the with the dazzling array of talent behind him, supplying him with opportunities? What player in the Premier League? Because does Ollie Watkins score against Fulham for for Man City? Ollie Do, Watkins doesn't get fifty one goals. No, in I agree. Season. I agree, right. but that's not what he was bought. No for. other number nine does. No, no, uh, maybe that's true. Yeah. But the point is, okay, so so he mate, bought. Mate, he's, to... he's, he's a loss. He's lost this season so far. All the players that helped him score those goals. Look, he was never going to do it himself. He's not a player that picks up the ball and goes past mm. four players. That's why I've always made the Mbappe him. I've yeah. always said I'll take Mbappe because he does that. But literally, he's lost Mares. Yeah. This season, Jack Grealish has been injured for part of the season. De Bruyne has. Gone, Bernardo Silva's been injured for part of the season and Gundogan's gone. Okay, so all ma- the players that helped him score those goals have mm. literally just vanished. Okay, let's make it about last season then. They they played Real Madrid home and away, semi-finals. Yeah. How many goals and assists for Haaland? Didn't need to, they won. How many goals and assists? Didn't need to, they won. Okay, they, they played, the they, they they played Inter Milan in the about, final. Talking about the ones they lost. Like, I'm talking, they won the games talking, though. Talking about the games they lost. They won the games. But, but, but so the, point of, the point of Haaland was to, to, to win. They were always winning those games. The point games. of Haaland's maybe to push the centre-back out of the way to create space for someone who does score because he bullies you. I mean, that's that's not Haaland. Holland is how Holland. Everybody tells me that the the, the beauty of Holland well, is okay. getting the ball back. Are you trying to make an argument that you are correct about no. Holland? A man that's already got eight goals in the Premier League. You're correct. Eight goals. I think that you, top goal scorer in the Premier League. You can look beyond the stats. So we're making a point look, about look a guy that's got the top, top goal scorer in the Premier League. Where you're making a statement. Pull that the curtain he's, back, mate. Look behind the I stats. It's got eight and eight. Eight and eight. You just told me that. Fulham, I, Burnley. Right, eight and eight, dude. It, we're it, making an argument. Someone's got eight and eight. When you buy Haaland, Haaland is bought to win games against Arsenal away from home. He's not bought to score a hat trick against Fulham. Haaland's Haaland's bought to help the team win as many trophies as possible. He done that last. How many season. goals did he score in the semi final against Real Madrid? Home away. Zero. How he's many gonna, goals did he score in the final? The Zero. How many goals, goals did he score in the FA Cup final? Zero. How many goals did he score in the Super Cup? Zero. How many goals did he score in the FA Cup final? Zero. First season fifty one. Second season eight and eight. And I can't believe we're critiquing him. Be a flat track bully. That's fine. But let's acknowledge that he is a flat track bully. <laughs> Spurs will challenge for the Premier League title this season. No, end the stream. <laughs> I can't have this conversation. I can't have this conversation. No, Tottenham will not challenge for the league. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. You know why I think they might? They won't. Because I, I think this is an eighty-plus point season. I don't think this is your nineties. They'll do very, They're very well to get in the Champions League. Not in Europe. They'll do yeah because they're rubbish. Yeah, yeah, which helps them. They'll do very, it very well them. to get in the Champions League spots. All right. Assuming the Champions League spot goes down to fifth. Okay. Oh, oh, Jeremy, our producers really wrote some good ones today. Marcus Rashford is not in Manchester United's best eleven. Yeah, it's one of those. He ones. is. He is in their best eleven because they don't have other players better than him. But should he be in their best eleven? Is that, an interesting. That, one. No, that's that's the question. Um, there isn't a, there isn't a better goal scorer at Manchester United than him. I think Rasmus Hoyland is. But he isn't. Mate, did you see that goal he scored the other day? Marcus <laughs> Rashford scored the... thirty goals last season. Y- yeah. Like you can't you can't compare. Do like, you know, do you know, one second. Do you know who he scored against? The Marcus Rashford. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> four against Fulham away. <laughs> no, look, look, Marcus Rashford is chronically out of form, and one of Eric Ten Hag's biggest jobs is to get Marcus Rashford playing to his best potential, mm. fulfilling his potential. They need to turn him into the player that he was just off the back of the World Cup last year. It's interesting, actually, because prior to him scoring all those goals, there's a lot of talk about him leaving. Do you remember that? Yes, about him leaving the club. I, I wonder if he needs a fresh start. Look, as well. I, I, I think that. We can talk about how good Marcus Rashford is, but there's no doubt about it. He's the best goal scorer. He's the best option that Eric Ten Hag has at Manchester United currently. Yeah, yeah. Ten Hag's responsibility is to get a performance out of his finer, finer players, and Marcus Rashford is most certainly that. All right, good one this. Raheem Sterling will miss out on England's Euro squad, even if he has a good season. Yeah, he will miss out, but it's stupid, isn't it? There isn't the... You know, when Jack wasn't in the squad, or James Madison... Mm. There was this kind of vocal like push from everyone yeah. on social media. They, how dare you? There isn't it's, anything for it's Raheem because Sterling. It's because Chelsea is so poor this season. Mm. Chelsea are losing games and whatever. And because of the other players that are there for Sterling. Like, people don't have long memories and people don't really demonstrate loyalty. I don't, by the way, I'm not necessarily suggesting that they should. It's about picking the best team and making sure that we win a tournament. But I think that Raheem Sterling can obviously contribute to this England team. Juxtapose that with the fact that 
Jack Grealish isn't really playing. Phil Foden isn't is playing, but isn't playing particularly mean. well. I just don't understand how having the top goal scorer that England currently possess, apart from Harry Kane, yeah. of all of the English footballers that you could select yeah. for Southgate, international footballers, Harry Kane has scored more than any anyone else. Raheem Sterling is the next highest goal scorer. Surely having him around, somebody who knows his way to the back of the net, somebody yeah. who knows his way around international tournaments, somebody who's a proven winner, having him around a camp has got to be a good thing. What I think is criminal is that, you know, we always kind of, like, we always dig out on Gareth Southgate for being loyal, don't we? Like, he's loyal. Yeah, and then like, he's not. And then he's not. Like, yeah. Sterling just gets dropped just like that. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just been, it's, I find it strange. But for me, he should be in the squad. And Sterling's playing a lot better than Maguire, by the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if we're going to make it about Maguire loyalty... Maguire's got a good assist, <laughs> If we're going to make it about loyalty, let's be loyal to the players. Maybe because there are so many other options in the forward line. I think that's yeah, ultimately that's true. That's true. All right, final one, very quickly on this one. Brighton will miss out on a place in the top eight this season and will struggle to manage the Premier League and European campaigns. All of the above is true, but no. they will still make top eight. They're going to struggle. They're going to struggle, but I just believe they'll get it right. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.